uh, incognito, I'm sure you guys have seen this a hundred thousand times because probably a hundred thousand people bought them. Uh, it is the best product to gain boost on a health cap period. I mean, I argue with people every single day. They say that, you know, it, this does not work. Create promo codes in their name. Yeah, this is just, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. We have shops buy these things 25, 30 at a time, you know, and that says volumes for what this does. So, um, what we did though, is we used this design and we changed it up. So this is perfect if you do not want to go to a cog setup and you want to be able to run up to 25 pounds of boost on a stock lower. Uh, this lower pulley with a 2.4 upper will make 24 and a half pounds of boost. Um, there is no need to grind anything on the front cover when you run an incognito. There's no need to take off the stock lower damper. This slides directly over that. Uh, makes an install of these very simple. You can take this on and off the car with no trace, no tune required if you were to run this on the stock tune by itself. No pinning of the crank required if you're gonna run this by itself. Um, so this has been a huge hit. And like I said, we use this design and we change this up a little bit. So over here, you will now see our new incognito, which is a pretty fitting name, but this is the ultimate system. If you were ever going to want maximum power out of an IHI blower, uh, there is nothing like it. We've been running this for approximately two months on three different vehicles. Uh, we have a track up with 1,600 miles who drives it daily. It's never kicked a belt. Um, and now we actually just had this on Kevin Helmick's Grumpy Cat. Um, that car was making eight pounds of boost with the exact same amount of blower rotation, uh, same exact you know, combo, upper, lower pulley sizes. Um, so he went from eight pounds of boost and uh, installed our incognito drive system and he went to 16 pounds of boost just by changing the drive system on the blower. Um, cool thing about this, same thing, direct bolt on. So if you already have our idler bracket, you can reuse that. If you already have our hub, you can reuse that. Um, like I said, direct bolt on. Um, we have direct bolt on idlers with ribs to track the belt correctly. Um, you will have to clearance the timing cover. Uh, we did not clear this one because this is a stock engine and someone may want to purchase it. Um, but it is not much. It's actually less clearancing than you'll have to do with an ATI. You can do it with it on the car. Um, but like I said, three idler pulleys. We actually convert over the stock tensioner to a rib tensioner, smooth. So we don't have to worry about changing the routing. The belt just rides over with no problem at all. Uh, we're offering three sizes of upper pulley. So we're going from a 310 to a 285, basically, uh, and then a 260. Um, the sizing is a little bit different than our other pulleys because of the actual amount of teeth. You have to have these set up correctly. Otherwise, the tooth profile of the belt will not work. Um, so we did a lot of testing with different tooth belt profile, everything like that, and we found what works the best. Uh, but like I said, zero issues uh, running this, even in daily driver situations. Uh, the cool thing about this is it does make the car sound, even with an IHI blower, uh, identical to a Magnuson. You get that blower whine at idle, you get that blower whine when you're driving. Um, and people do love that. It gives you that old school muscle car sound. Um, it's just overall a fantastic unit and we're thrilled to be able to offer it. Um, same thing, we are going to have these in multiple anodizing colors, so black obviously. We're going to have clear anodize. Uh, these can be completely clear uh, over raw finish or we can polish them also if you're looking to do something similar to our blower lid. And then we can do red, blue, black, purple, and other custom colors as well. Um, the efficiency of this 
I mean, if, you know, if, if this guy is picking up eight pounds of boost with the same exact amount of blower rotation, I think we're going to be able to really now see the stock blower really shine. Um, there may not be a complete need to swap blowers as much as you, as you used to have to. Um, you know, before a stock blower, you would really max these things out at 20, 21 pounds and they would come out of their inefficiency range. Now, you know, we can run a much, much larger pulley combo. Um, this blower with a 310 upper and this lower makes 21 pounds of boost, um, which is insane. We actually have a 310 on here right now. Um, if you take a look, we actually have 85% belt wrap. Uh, there's only eight teeth not touching that belt, and it, there is just no room for any kind of error on this thing. Um, it, it just physically cannot slip. Um, we've ran one of these setups to 7,500 RPMs on my personal car with the Magnuson, and it did not kick the belt. Um, that car makes 1,340 wheel horsepower, and it is just absolutely insane the amount of response you get. So, um, like I said before, this drive system is available for the Whipple. So we can basically convert over your Whipple. Um, same thing, we were make a cog pulley for that. Um, and then we'll have to change the drive pulleys. Uh, we'll change your idler pulley that comes with the Whipple to a rib style to keep it belt tracking correctly. And we will also have this, like I said earlier, for the Kenny Bell. Um, you know, the 4.9, you know, that, that's going to be a unit that has already proven itself to be fantastic as far as making tons of power. Uh, now you can really never have to worry about ever having to change that blower if you already own it. So, um, that's really all we got for tonight. Um, Tony, I mean, do you have anything else? Hit the page. Uh, we got the uh, stock cog drive setup, not the Magnuson, but the uh, stock incognito setup on the uh, Ripitoon website uh, under the Ripitoon performance parts tab. And uh, check it out. We'll have some more up there soon. And like I said, if you need anything, shoot us a message on the Facebook page. That's probably the best way to get all of us. Yeah, Facebook, right through the business page, is the best way to, to contact us because Tony and I both see it. We do get a lot of messages that come to our personal pages and they go to requests and stuff like that. We don't see them right away. And we get probably between 200 and 300 messages a day from different people. So um, bumping your message on Facebook doesn't always help. We don't see it right away. So uh, send a message to the business page and it is much easier for us to keep track of it. You can also email us. Tony at Ripatoon, Steve at Ripatoon, Mike, John, we all have our own, you know, you emails. Name, so yeah. whatever you guys need, uh, send messages there. Uh, if you need tracking information for any of your products, tracking at Ripatoon, uh, send an email there and we will be able to help you track your products. Um, like I said, we're kind of in a transition period here with the new shop and things are, uh, finally coming around. So we're going to be able to get back to you guys a lot faster than we had before, but busy busy is good. So anything else uh, you guys need, like I said, send us a message. Uh, and keep track of um, us on the Paxton kit because it's going to be available in the next two or three weeks. Um, lastly, you guys probably saw the lid. We were firing about 400 shot nitrous through this thing. Uh, this lid is available as well. We sell these lids for right around $22 to $2,300 uh, without nitrous. Uh, with nitrous, full burst panel lid, these things are about $3,500. Uh, it's got a full diversion panel inside the lid. Uh, the actual spray bars themselves fire directly into the intercoolers as well as the fueling. Uh, best thing about that is, you know, it's gonna basically have a perfect combustion between the fuel and the nitrous. And we can also set this up for methanol. So there's a lot of guys who want 
to run methanol on these cars. There was never really a good way to do it before. Um, the issue is with the methanol on these cars, you really have to fire it directly through the throttle body or, you know, through the actual rotors themselves. And we do not encourage you doing that um, for many reasons. Obviously, it takes off Teflon coating on the rotors. And also, regardless of that, um, you can actually hydrolock the car if you shoot too much methanol through it because it does pool up inside the bottom of this blower at our low RPM. So um, firing it post rotor, uh, we can get perfect atomization of the methanol as well. And we can basically help with IATs with methanol. We do not recommend methanol at all for fueling but we do recommend it for uh, IATs and octane. Um, same thing though, you gotta make sure you have the correct amount of fuel system. You gotta make sure you have good fuel in the tank. You do never really wanna require methanol for any kind of octane replacement by itself or any kind of fueling by itself like a lot of the LT guys use on the, the Chevy platform. But here, you can see the nitrous spray bars. Uh, like I said, we were firing about 400 shot through this thing uh, with perfect atomization. If you were to run a 16 injector setup, we can run 800 through this lid with the same amount of bars. Uh, and we do have a provision also for running 16 injectors on this lid. Um, you would obviously need a second set of fuel rails and you know the fuel system to do it, but um, there's a lot of possibilities with this. Kevin Helmick's car is running 16 injectors on his car um, with a stock lid that he had modified. Uh, what we'll do is actually we'll move these burst panels and you will have 16 injectors across the top of this, uh, this lower lid. So. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We're going to have a lot more for you in the next couple weeks. Anything you guys need, let us know. And um, like I said, Facebook, send messages there. That is the easiest way for us to contact you guys back. So appreciate all the support over the last year. And we look forward to making a lot more cool parts for you guys. Thanks, guys.